Shalom. All praise goes to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Kwidash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, the men who taught me this truth. Also, peace and blessings to my fellow yokesmen, the hopeful elect that continue in the work of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai. Also, to the believers, the brothers and the sisters that continue to believe upon the names Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, and all fear, Shalom. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. This lesson is entitled, And We Shall Be Blessed. And that's in the future tense, because right now we are not blessed as the wacky tacky Christians would quote. They are blessed and highly favored and sanctified, etc., etc. That's not so, because we are still under the subjection of Esau Edom. Now, those that shall truly be blessed, according to the book of Galatians, chapter 6. In verse 16, it says, And as many as walk according to this rule, meaning this truth, peace be on them and mercy and upon the Israel of the Most High. And the Israel of the Most High is the elect of the nation of Israel. These are the only ones that the peace and the mercy of the Most High through Yahweh Shai shall fall upon. Those are the ones that shall be truly blessed. Now, when we read the book of Revelation, chapter 19 and verse 12, it tells us, And his eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And that's the blessing that our Lord and Savior have already received. It says, and he had a name written that no man knew but himself. And we, due to the mercy of the Most High and that peace being upon us from the Most High, we know that name. Now, Yahweh Shai, as the scripture says, on his head were many crowns, meaning when the Most High sent Yahweh Shai, he's going to take down and conquer all of these nations upon the earth starting with Esau, Edom, okay? That's Yahweh Shai being truly blessed. And if we continue in our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, as the book of St. Matthew, the 24th chapter tells us, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. We're also going to be blessed. Now, the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 17 tells us, and if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Hamashiach, that's the elect, if so be that we suffer with him, meaning what we're going through right now, and if you are of the hopefully elect, you're truly suffering right now. It says that we may be also glorified together. And at the coming of Yahweh Shai, Lord willing, if we are part of that number, and if Yahweh Shai receive us, we are going to be glorified with Yahweh Shai. Now remember, Yahweh Shai is already blessed right now. But if we endure unto the end, we're going to be glorified with Yahweh Shai, meaning we're going to be blessed. And how are we going to be blessed? The book of Isaiah chapter 14 Starting at verse 1 tells us, For the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel, and that's beginning with the elect, and set them in their own land, and the strangers will be joined with them, meaning those that didn't know that they was Israelites. Those are the strangers that shall be joined with us. It says, And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Verse 2, this is the point. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And that main 
them is Esau. All right. Those that have us in subjection right now, because Esau Edom is truly blessed right now in this kingdom. It says, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, which is Israel for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And that's to be truly blessed, to rule over your oppressors, all right? To take the heathens as your possessions, starting with Esau, Edom. That's why the book of Psalms chapter 2 and verse 8 tells us, it says, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. And that's when we are going to be truly blessed. When we have the heathens, starting with Esau, Edom, and the rest of the heathen nations as our inheritance. It says, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. See that? That's when we are going to be truly blessed. Once we have the rest of the heathen nations, starting with Esau, Edom, the wicked that the Bible speaks of, in our possession. That is to be truly blessed. The wacky tacky Christians always throw the word around that I'm blessed, but they really don't know the meaning of being blessed. The meaning of being blessed is to have slaves. Let's read this again. Psalms 2 and 8, it says, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Now that's to be truly blessed. All right. And that's going to happen if we continue in our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, because remember, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, is already blessed. All right. And it's coming. He's going to what? Subdue all nations. That's why he's going to wear many crowns. Now, the book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 17, tells us if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Hamashiach, if so, be that we suffer with him, meaning this present time that we're living in right now, and these are suffering times, that we may be also glorified together. So we're going to be glorified with our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, at his coming, if we endure unto the end, because our Lord and Savior is already glorified. He already came to the earth and completed the will of the Most High. That's why when he come back, He's going to what? Take down all of the rest of the heathens, starting with Esau, Edom, and wear many crowns. Now, the book of Hebrews, chapter 2, starting at the verse 7, it says, Thou made of him a little lower than the angels. Thou crownest him with glory and honor, and did have set him over the works of thy hands, Verse 8, and this is the point. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he put all in subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. And that makes Yahweh Shai the conqueror. All right? That victory lies in Yahweh Shai that we are seeking for. And Yahweh Shai is truly blessed because all things have been put what? In subjection under his feet. And if we continue in Yahweh Shai, we are going to be truly blessed. All right? By us continuing in Yahweh Shai. That's to be truly blessed is to have all of the heathens in your possessions, to have slaves. All right? And that's going to be under the rule of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Now, the book of Malachi chapter 4 and verse 3 tells us, matter of fact, let's start at verse 2. It says, but unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And that son of righteousness is Yahweh Shai. And that is coming. He's going to heal us. All right. Meaning we're going to be changed to our celestial states. And that's going to happen within the wings. The wings is a dark saying for the, what? The chariots, all right? What the world deems as UFOs. It says, and ye shall go forth and grow up 
as calves of the stall. Verse three, this is the point. And ye shall tread down the wicked for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai of hosts, meaning the Lord of armies, the Lord of troops, all right? And that's going to be at the coming of the Son of Righteousness. If we endure unto the end, as the scripture tells us, the same shall be saved, all right? And we're going to be saved from these bodies. We're going to be saved from the rule of Esau, Edom, and we're going to be glorified with our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai is going to what? Give us the joint heir, all right, meaning joint heir to the throne of the Most High as being rulers. And being rulers, you're going to have subjects. And those subjects are going to be the rest of the heathen nations, starting with Esau, Edom. And that's how we're going to be truly blessed. All right. And that is to be truly blessed, to have slaves up under us. All right. Starting with Esau, Edom, you know, and the wacky tacky Christians really don't know the meaning of blessed and people that throw that word around, I am blessed, I am blessed. No, you're not blessed because you're not in rulership. All right, to be in rulership and to have slaves, that is to be truly blessed, you know, and that's the day that we shall be blessed. So, you know, Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that this was edifying. Shalom one. DTA.